In this tutorial we will show you how to create a schedule to add to posters. You can either type up the schedule or copy and paste it from any accurate source like a website, newspaper or school program. For this example we are going to copy from an online source to paste and edit in Photoshop. In Photoshop select File, New, Preset, Photo, Landscape, 8x10, Resolution 300, Background, Transparent. Then click on Text Tool to paste and copy text. Change font, text size, color, etc. Please note these can also be changed later too. Place cursor to the upper left corner be sure that the text tool is your current tool. Then either go to edit and paste or right click and paste. Hit enter key or check mark towards the top and center. This will commit your current changes. Since there is a 10 in the dates we are going to keep the zeros before the 8s and 9s. We are going to remove the day of the week since we do not want it included on our poster. If you prefer to keep it then no need to remove. To remove drag cursor over any spaces and text that you want deleted and then hit the delete key. Using the character palette change look of text and spacing. Change font, we are going to change to Arial. Change font size and spacing. Change boldest, italic, change to what you feel looks best. Space it out a bit by increasing the lead. Be sure text is aligned to the left and then select the date's text keeping close to it. Using the rectangular marquee tool, zero feather. Select just the dates and then right click copy, file, new, 10 by 8, using the same presets as the first schedule. Then right click paste dates. Please take note that this text, once pasted into the new 10 by 8, you will no longer be able to edit and or change font. So if you are not happy with it, delete it now and go back to original schedule and edit as needed, then again select the dates and copy and paste into the new 10 by 8 again. If you want to be able to edit the text, change the font, and or use this to add the year end results then, please do a save as now with the full schedule still in place, and still editable. Save it as something like Football 2010 Schedule PSD. Click on Text Tool, then select all the text by dragging the cursor across it all. Align text to the right so that all the text in the last right column lines up. Hit the enter key or check mark, the text will move to the left. Select the move tool and drag it back to the right. Go back to text tool, we are going to delete the spaces that are keeping the times from lining up. Hit enter or click on check mark. Select all in times in the column, being sure to keep close to it. Right click copy or edit copy, then go to the new schedule. 
right click paste or edit paste into the same 10 by 8 as the dates. Use move tool to move into place and then name layer, times. On the original schedule, deselect times. Select, deselect. Go back to text tool and we are going to now delete the times and dates, since we do not need them anymore, at this time. Drag cursor over spaces and text to delete then hit the delete button. Make any changes and corrections to remaining text. We are going to remove the space between the at symbol and opponent. Make the at symbol smaller by changing font size. If you prefer you can add another column and use home and away instead. Or put home games in bold letters and or all capital letters. Using the Move tool, move to the left. Make Text tool as your current tool then drag your cursor across all the remaining text. Align text so that it is centered. Hit Enter or check mark to make changes. Again using the Move tool, move to the left. Select as close to text as you can but still including all, using the Rectangular Marquee tool. Zero feather. Change selection, if needed or undo and make selection again. Hit the enter key or check mark. Copy and paste into 10 by 8 with dates and times. Click on move tool and move a bit. Name layer. Select all three layers and with Move Tool Current Tool, Align Top. Select just the date layer and move left. Move times right. Tweak a bit more, if needed. Add header text, above the columns. Make the text tool your current tool. Using a smaller font, type the names of the columns. Dates. Opponent. times. Make move tool your current tool and align the headers. Set XML true A line bottoms. Select both dates layers the header and dates column. Be sure the Move tool is your current tool. To select more than one layer use the Control key. Align center to each other, repeat for opponents and times. Go back to the original schedule and close. Do not save changes, so that you can use and be able to edit in the future. For example add results of these games to add the results to your posters. Select all layers. To select all layers, click on top layer, hold shift key and click on bottom layer. Right click and merge layers. The reason to merge layers instead of flatten, is you want the background transparent and not solid white.
Open the template to add schedule to. If using the samples included on your second DVD, open either the FB2010 Schedule Grunge PSD or the FB2010 Schedule Neat Start PSD. If not already hidden, hide the color border, border and place pick here layers. Make Move Tool, your current tool then drag schedule into template above the color background layer. Move to about where you want it. Using Scale Resize to fill area as needed. Edit, Transform, Scale. Maintain Aspect Ratio is not that important for this as it is for a photo. So you can just resize with the cursor, instead of typing in a number amount. Double click on Current Layer to edit layer style. If you would have flattened this instead of merging the layers then you would not be able to add a layer style. Select layer style you like and edit if needed. Change color if you like. Once happy with layer style, click on OK. Do a save as, and now ready to add photos and finish creating your schedule poster. See the football samples for the 2-3 style of posters for more ideas, and to see what posters look like with the photos added.